Bismillahirrahmanirrahim This is Technology Channel and I am your host Malik Muhammad Mehran As you know about Technology Channel we present different solutions for different problems that we face about technology and we also present videos on research problems that we face in our research journey So to, in today's video we will present a solution for the sample size how to justify your sample size in your particular study because in several studies it has been seen that people unable to justify their sample size they use hit and trial methods like they use 10 percent 20 percent sample size from the particular population but they are unable to defend that how they have drawn that particular uh, sample size research is quite a technical process so it needs justification for even a single word or a single sentence so in this video we will help out you about justification of your sample size so how you can draw your sample from your population precisely so I want to mention here that if we have a wrong sample size means a very large a very small sample size so what would be effects on our study effects are we will face issue in our data analysis when we go for interpretation our data analysis will show some beyond the belief results so if we have a particular effective accurate sample size then those results will be near to accurate or perfect results we can attain from our collected data so we have some grounds and reference for our study will provide us grounds to defend our sample size so in today's video we will discuss the technique how we can calculate the sample size from our particular population we will use a certain table that was calculated on the base of Ritz and Morgan's study about samples and population this is the table for determining sample size of non population the source is Ritz and Morgan's 1970 you can reference this table in your particular study to authenticate that so now we will discuss this table and shows for population size as shows for sample size let's suppose we have some uh, population of 10 then we should keep our sample size 10 so if we have 100 size population so our sample should be 80 after 100 difference we will have 200 population size so we should have sample size of 132 if we have 300 then 169 if we have 400 we should have 196 if we have 500 then 217 is sufficient if we have 600 then 234 if we have 700 then 248 if we have 800 then 260 if we have 900 269 if we have 1000 population size then sample should be 278 then so on up to 1 million size of population 
that is a mathematical formula using that formula you can calculate sample size for your study by using population size of your study this is the simplest way then what you have to do at the end you have to reference this source in your study that how you have calculated the sample size this sample size will be referenced and authentic if you like my video then hit like share this video with your friends and subscribe